Today we're going to make a little bit of messy art, but kind of fun. Um, you're going to require some paint um, and you can thin it out. I have a cup of paint um, there. Can't really tell, but I added a little water to it to, to thin it out to see if that would work. Otherwise, I just squirted paint into my tray. And then you're going to need some yarn. Um, I have some thick yarn here. Um, and some thin yarn and you can experiment but basically it's soaking the yarn in paint so you can try different lengths too so I have this one and I'm a, and I have paper so paper yarn string or rope and paint um, and the object is to get the yarn full of paint and then use it as a sort of paintbrush so in this cup, I've experimented with soaking some of my bigger pieces of yarn in paint. You see that? And this one's really wet, so I'm not sure entirely how it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Um, and this is where having a nice big piece of paper will um, come in handy because it's good for gross motor movement, um, seeing if you can really work it around the paper. Um, and then what happens when you splitter splatter and it's going to splitter splatter everywhere. So that's a big piece of yarn soaked in wet paint. And then the other thing I'm going to try is a small piece of yarn and then I'm going to tamp it down in my paint with a paintbrush and see if I can get it. And that, this is not so wet. So we're going to see if this works as well. And maybe I can hold the paper up a little bit and we can see how it works. See if it... And it is, I guess the shorter the yarn, probably the easier or the bigger piece of paper. Um, this probably would be a lot of fun outside. Um, especially if you use the wet, the watered down paint. Um, but you just dance it around, have the, you see if you can make that yarn dance across the paper. Um, and then the other thought I had was, let's see, I've got another, let's do a short piece of yarn here. I'll do a, a short one. And I'll mix that in, let's see if I do yellow. And get that one really wet. And then I can drag it. See if I can make worm trails. These are my worm trails. And this is a fun activity for gross and fine motor. Because you're having to use your whole arm, but at the same time you're having to keep it in an area and you're trying to get different effects with splatting and dancing and streaming and pulling um, and that can be a fun way to experiment and make worm painting. Happy painting!